Good morning, good afternoon around the world. Uh, I'm Miss Martha of the Martha Shows. Uh, I'm going to get in a few things. I want to thank my sponsors, FNB Communications, uh, Pastor Somers, James W. Dow, Felicia Benthene, Bethelia, D. Mac McKelly, the McKelly clan. And I want to give it up for T. Brax, uh, 258 New York City. And I want to say a special salute to, yes, our radio series, Bridget James and Mr. C., on the WGII. Uh, this is the www.themissmartha.tv and then we're going to get it in around the world to let you know uh, I host all of the shows except uh, Pastor Somers James W. Dow as he come in. Today I want to just speak some uh, credence. Uh, this will be blog one uh, for my weekly blog, and I thought I was looking pretty good today, so I'll just pop it in. I was reading Jeremiah 29, uh, verse 11. It says, For we know the thoughts and what we think towards you, saith the Lord of peace, uh, thoughts through of peace. We're not of evil to give you an expected end. So today, I'm, I'm going to just stay right there because I don't want to confuse anyone that does not know the Bible. I'm not going to give you more scriptures where you can't study and all that. I'm going to just give it to you straight chase, no lace on this daily ball. So today I was looking and listening to uh, a, another constituent that was saying the hope is the substance of things hope for. So I wanted to put a I wanted to put my stance on it. I want to give you a story first so you can kind of put it into your life of what you think it might or should be. First of all, to do I'll just use me. To do what I do around the world to be an unknown character to I've done a lot of movies, but just an unknown character around the world where people take for granted uh, that I have credence and, well, you know, you haven't been on this, you haven't been on that. But I stopped by and I got a little concerned as I also always are vexed in my spirit or irritated when I see a credence of of. I'm knowing that, you know, your power and your strength comes from the Holy Ghost. And so when the Holy Ghost gives me something to speak about, I'm learning not to get perturbed about it. So my scripture today is 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 not for evil. It's, it, it's for good. It's a, it's a what expected end. So we're going to use two things. We got to wait today. We're going to hear from uh, our governor, Sisolak, here in Las Vegas. And then he's going to lay out. He said we was at ground zero uh, last week when I reported we had 143 deaths. Now we had uh, last week we got 200 more. So we are at 400 and some odd uh, deaths of Las Vegas through the, throughout this pandemic. Then we turn around and then we have no credence over what situation is going to transgress. So I'd like to just speak beforehand, uh, six feet under or social distance, six feet. And so since this is a, a, a pandemic, uh, this is something that is placed on us to deal with. Uh, we we going to deal with it. And so that means we should be social distancing anyway. We should be washing our hands anyway. You shouldn't be up in my in my face spitting and going on like that anyway. And then remember to brush your teeth because I know when you stay in the house, a lot of people think they don't got to go through the necessary treatment of an everyday go to your work routine. Cleanliness, cleanliness is next to godliness. Amen. And so when you don't came from remember to do all that, pray about it. The second thing, uh, when I say it's over, 
um, that means that I'm going to follow the rules of the land that they put in place. So when I go outside, I'm going to have on my mask and my gloves. And so I'm going to just tell you something about this scripture tying into hope of the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. And then in layman's term, basically your hope, your dreams, your vision, your insight about what is going on, you got to take it to the game. And that means that you don't get off, uh, it, you know, when you pray and you say that I'm not going to let you go, Lord, till you bless my soul. Make sense? And so when you say that and do that in what? Be consistent and be what? Diligently into what you're doing. This opportunity to be on Facebook and Instagram Live, I'm about to give me a Google Classroom and I'll let... But this is good because you get to see the vultures. You get to see all the people with no creativity. They teach you on YouTube, oh, just you can steal. That's good. Do it just like them. No, if the Lord gives it to you, he's going to give you the twist that you need. Uh, you got your twist. I got my twist. Um, do you get upset about it? Not no more. Because if it's a spade, it's a spade. And so I, 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 one other thing before I let you go for the thought process of what I'm going through. Um, wisdom is something that you accumulate. Wisdom is something that always stutters and utters its way in through your past. So when your past dictates your future, then that's bad. But you use your past to get into your future, knowing if you're going to do that again or you're not going to do that again. Make sense? So I was stopping by on this daily blog to the letter of my captors. That means that I'm seeing everybody preaching on here now, except a couple of parishioners that I know personally um, they are so honorable. Uh, Bishop Noel Jones is honorable. Um, they, they don't, they don't play like that. Meaning I'm not preaching to you. Use my footage from last time because the church has had a rude awakening. And when you get a, a flock or you get a stance or you get to be on your own, like I'm on, I'm on my own, me and the Lord. I, I love it. And so I'm going to read this one more time. It says, for you know the thoughts towards you. And then you what? You said to the Lord, thoughts of peace. And when you say thoughts of peace and not evil, to give an expected in. I'm the one that says, it is great. I'm the one that says all the time, I can't run into no more false evidences appearing real. I'm the first one in my category of the gospel of Jesus Christ that will dismiss you. I don't believe that, that, that line or where, I don't even know where you got it from, where he says, well, just keep your enemies close. No, you got to go on. If it's a spade, move it out. Meaning you're not entitled to get or capture my thought process. That means that uh, if you're not as Amy Ashton says, if you're not promoting uh, good and health and well-being and you're going to make it or you, hey, we, you, that's good. But if you're not doing that and you doubting Thomas all the time and you, uh-uh, no. So that's why I can get it with Joel Osteen's just preaching um, calm, just preaching what? Prosperity. But I'm going to tell you, the end result has been tremendous. Um, I'm going to give you one more thing before I let you go. 
when you are with the Lord and you and the Lord is giving you dreams and visions and then you're not a prophet, you're just a witnesser or a test to God's word. You have to take that to heat and credence over your situation. So that means that my situation is not your situation. And that thing they say, get wisdom, you got to get wisdom. And when you get wisdom, you learn, amen, how to apply it. And so since we live in a dying world where everybody has a penetration or an opinion or whatever on whoever, that's not good. The thought process has to line up with the atmosphere for you to be able to take it down. That means that don't mean you're not going to get no trouble. That doesn't mean that everything is going to be peachy and itchy. That just means that you're going to be able to, from your past, to go to your future. I'm your girl, Miss Martha of the Martha shows around the world, I decree a thing that we just get our thought process in order and I just ask God to please release our thought processes towards him so we can what? Get the game corrected. And so I read every day, I study every day and I ask the Lord to take my soul if he takes me right now. So I want you guys to tune in, boot up to the WGII Radio Ride. All the shows are archived for Yes Our Radio, Pastor Somas James W. Dow, and the WGII Radio Reside. Thank you for coming to MissMartha.tv. Um, and YouTube, you're doing an awesome job. We still got um, a ways to go. I'm learning. I need some help, but but God situation so i won't be outdoing you on the um cyberspace amen so that means but i'm getting pretty good i've been doing this since a long time so since 2005 so i want to say to god be the glory for the things he keeps on doing get ready get ready get ready for my blogs on www.missmartha.tv this is be the first one that's gonna go up amen i love you guys have a blessed a peaceful prosperous day night or evening i'm miss martha worldwide wide in the world amen google me <laughs>